Don't tread on me. <laughs> no, we're not going to allow the police to tread on us or any other community. Someone has to take a stand. And this is what we're doing. This is what this sign says. Don't tread on me. Don't tread on us. Okay. And don't tread. Don't abuse your power. Okay. So we're here with uh, Getsy Losada, who is uh, one of the organizers of the protest against Officer Josie. So Getsy, uh, please explain um, what happened and why we're, why we're here. We are here today because um, we joined the festivities of the after parade, after the parade, the festival parade. Uh, Lieutenant Josie apparently was trying to control a crowd um, with some members of the police department and basically he lost it and he struck a woman from behind. Um, uh, if you have seen the videos which have gone viral, um, the, the woman had nothing to do with the reason for him to really get upset. And so today we're here uh, because some of his, his colleagues have decided that they're going to uh, do a fundraiser for him um, and that they don't agree with the fact that he was terminated. And so we're here to say that we don't agree um, with this uh, rat, with this uh, fundraiser and that we um, don't agree with the fact that, they're, that they are backing him up and that they're supporting him. Um, we understand that the police department's job is difficult uh, and that sometimes aggression is necessary but assault is not. Okay, very good. Uh, do you know of any specific reason why they're doing a fundraiser for uh, Josie? The only information that we've received um, as far as them, the reason for them having a fundraiser is because he's terminated and he needs help paying his bills and, and being able to go on with his everyday life until his arbitration process is over, until the investigation process is over. Okay. Anything you'd like to add? I'd like to say that um, we are here today. We're in. We're here in solidarity. We're here um, in peace. We, we, we believe in, in authority. We believe that if an arrest is warranted that it does happen, but that police understand that assault is not necessary and that um, the amount of aggression that he used uh, was inappropriate and that we are going to stand together in cases like this um, here in, in North Philadelphia as well as throughout the city. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you tell me about um, when you first saw the video uh, yes. that, that brought you here yes. what, what was your reaction? Uh, fear, fear, anger, uh, a big fear that, you know what, if they can do this to these people, what about everyone else? We have, we need to take a stand because this is unacceptable. That is police brutality. It's not acceptable. We protested at that time, and when the mayor and the councilman and and, and Commissioner Ramsey apologized and said, "Let due process take its course," we were ready for that and we accepted that. Okay, but this is unacceptable. Okay. Now I understand that uh, you know the brotherhood or whatever have to take care of each other, but when you publicize this you are setting a precedent you're setting um, um, a, a perception that it's okay for police brutality it is not okay it is okay to attack women it is not okay that it is okay to attack Hispanics it is not okay so you felt that the, the mayor and the, and the commissioner's apology was sincere but yes this is almost this is on the FOP this is the fraternal order of police it's a difference and that's what they explained to us Yes. We okay. We sat down statement. with uh, with um, Ms. Nesby, Mr. Oh, Nesby. Really? Yes, we did. We had a we sat down. We had a sit down when with him uh, last week. Okay. Um, and um, he said it had nothing to do with them, but unfortunately, uh, it went out on his letterhead. This party went out on his letterhead. Well, and how does that have anything to do with him if it's being held here? Too? Exactly. Exactly. This is why we're here today. To come here today, why is it important? It is very important to get a message across to our women, our community, our people, everyone. Police brutality is not okay. The, uh, this officer, Officer Josie, needs help. And that's what his people should do. Give him the help he needs. They're giving him help, but it's not no, the kind of help that... not that help. Mm. No. This, this officer have, has had many... Um, um, sites against him. Mm -hmm. He needs emotional help. Mm -hmm. The emotional help that he needs is what should be given to him. Yes. Okay. Not monetary. That is correct. Do you think he should have been criminally charged in this 
Um, it is not up for me to decide. The case will be handed over to the district attorney. It okay. is in that process. That is a due process, I was saying. Okay. Um, it's going to get handed over to the DA. Let the DA decide. We will have, you know, we have our our beliefs, and we will express that to the district attorney uh, based on the film. I don't know if you if you saw the oh, film. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It was quite shocking yes. that morning yes. that I came in. Yes. And we were all bombarded. Yes. By it. Do you think that um, if this wasn't caught on video, what might have happened? It, it would have just... It's very faded. scary. Yeah, I'm very I mean, scared to think what would happen. Exactly. This was caught on video, and this is what they're doing. Can you imagine if it was not caught on video? I cannot. That is very scary to me. Thank you so much. And also, you know, what's interesting in the videos, if you watch it, there are a lot of other officers around, too, yes. and none of them really seem to react. Can you kind of talk right. about that, maybe? Right. I, the, what I am figuring is, you know, they stood back saying, oh, this is not right, so that they stood back. Okay. Okay. He was their leader. Mm -hmm. um, if that community decided to do something, there it could have been much worse, mm -hmm. much worse of what happened there. And it's not just that community, it's any community. Mm -hmm. um, these parades, all of them, all of these types of events, so, um, something like this always happens. And mm -hmm. it is unfortunate that this got caught on tape, but yeah. it is not acceptable what is caught on tape. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're against the police. No, we're not, because I know they protect and serve. They're here to protect and serve, not abuse and brutalize. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and peace on the street. That's that right. <laughs> So this is public sidewalk, right? Yes. So as long as we're not blocking it, we're allowed here? Okay. Great. So, so all of these guys are the people that are going with it, right? Basically, just here to do what? I'm sorry. What are you guys here for? How are you going? Okay. 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 I was told by this officer that I said. Stop police brutality! 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 I don't think we're the ones making a confrontation here. I think you are. No, no. You're the one me. making a confrontation. You're the one publicly defending an officer no, no, no. who punched an innocent woman in the face. The police. That's trying to maintain the peace. We don't like the police. You're punching a woman in the face. We do not want to pay for the police services to beat a woman in the face anymore. Why should you pay here to block the sidewalk? Why, you Why are you defending them? Why don't you do something right? Why are you chasing us off instead of these people? They're in their space. What are you just doing your job? You just that's, that's a That's public sidewalk. Is that public sidewalk, yes or no? Why don't you clear these people off so there's no confrontation and allow the public on a public sidewalk? I'm mean, going to do my job the way I think I should go. That's what you guys do all the time, right? You're right. just following so orders. You're right. not in charge. It's a different thing. We're not paying you a salary to beat up women. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. How can you stand here in front of the community?
Yeah, and people are here and they're upset. You need to deal with that. Nobody here is happy. Enough is enough. What job are you doing? What job are you doing? All these people don't want you doing it. You're doing the best you can. We're all happy with your service. Stop bullying the bad people. 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 Stop
police department is, is charged with protecting uh, public safety um, in large events um, like the one in which this incident occurred. It's not unlike, you know, the, the Greek picnic or the Mummers Parade where we have crowds that, that are hard to manage. Um, in this particular t case, you saw a commanding officer losing his control. I think one point that needs to be made here, it was brought up by one of the libertarians in the crowd, is that when you have a system of taxation, which is organized theft, which pays for police like this, then you're, it's an invitation for abuse. There is no client-provider relationship. If security and law were provided privately, and before you say it, yes, there is an ample historical precedent for this, this kind of abuse would be, if not impossible, much more difficult because the abused would be the clients who could fire these providers. This is part of the problem here. Okay, they fired Officer Josie. Will he be back in the, on the Philadelphia PD in a while? Will he be hired somewhere else? We'll just have to keep an eye out for that. The important thing is that it is the taxes that finance this whole system of oppression. We have to stop. We have to stop that, the organized theft that these people represent. That's right. Say no to taxation. And you know what?